new for 2023 is the Springfield Echelon. The striker-fired polymer frame pistol features Springfield's new variable interface system for mounting multiple optic footprints and the serialized cog fire control for inserting into multiple frames. Find out more at springfield-armory.com. Okay, folks, today on Tundra Tactical, we ask you a question. Your parents taught you how to protect your rifle, right? I mean, you know about keeping it safe when you put it in, no? <laughs> oh boy, well, I guess we're gonna have a talk about what your gun safe or lack of one says about you. So sit back, prepare to test your fire resistance, and let's start the show. Let's start off with the latest trend in gun safes, the state-of-the-art biometric safe. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I mean, what's the problem? You got too much going on in life to remember your very difficult combination of 6, 90, 4, 20? You view yourself as the Steve Jobs of the suburbs, modern, sophisticated, and tasteful. Your neighbors agree that you are just like Steve Jobs, except they wish you'd just hurry up and get the cancer part already. Ooh. I mean, let's be real here. You spent more on this gun safe than you did on your kid's college tuition, but I think that was the better investment. After all, I'm not sure little Johnny's PhD in philosophy of color actually got you, him, or society anything tangible. But at least with this safe, unlike your offspring, well, it's something you can show to your friends with pride. Though in truth, I do agree with your wife's yoga instructor, Darren, that you're being way too hard on the kid. The Philosophy Factory is sure to start hiring any day now, and besides, Johnny just got made Employee of the Month at the local Starbucks. whoop de doo now, if you want to be more like Darren and less like Johnny, come over and see me on Twitch seven days a week where I play games and talk guns at twitch.com slash tundra gaming live. On the opposite side of the safe debate is the old school combination lock safe guy. Now you bought your safe from the local Bass Pro in 1999, paying extra to remove all the electronics because of Y2K and you'd just seen the movie Hackers. Even though Y2K never happened, that didn't upset you because it had Remington emblazoned on the front and you knew what that meant. Like the company, it was built to last. <laughs> Oof. Using that combination lock feels like cracking a safe in an old heist movie, mainly because you always forget the combination and you lost your keys years ago. You're considering getting the combination tattooed somewhere on your body, except you think it might send the wrong message to the family if you suddenly showed up to the family reunion with 69420 tattooed on your forearm. However, I think they'd find you pretty rad. That's rad. I'm willing to bet you're still waiting for Y2K to hit, aren't you, buddy? I mean, New Year's Eve, you're right there with your canned beans, MREs, and some Franklin Mint gold coins ready for the world to come to an end. I'd say you're living in the past, but buddy, that would be an insult to history. Next up for the I've given up on life and I'm just winging it now firearm storage, we have the shoebox on the top of the shelf of the closet type of guy. What a great plan. I mean, I bet I can guess everything that you're keeping in that little shoebox of secrets. There's definitely gonna be a Nambu pistol of some kind granddad brought back from Iwo Jima and boy, oh boy, he would be disappointed in you for driving a Toyota. I want to be ninja. Knocking around with that Nambu is a little pink diary with a lock as broken as your dreams. By the way, if I were you, I'd burn those photos in there. You don't want your mom catching those at all, trust me. I'm still bleaching my eyes. Let's be real here. The only thing that shoebox is protecting your gun from is a dust bunny invasion. But hey, maybe you're onto something. Maybe the real security is the memory of those worn out sneakers that once lived in that box. Because let's face it, the smell alone is going to deter any self-respecting thief. In a world of biometrics and high-tech security, you, dear shoebox user, are a beacon of sheer laziness. But hey, you keep doing you. Just remember, when your gun goes missing, check down between the couch cushions. It's probably next to the remote. Ah, the classic hidden wall safe guy. You've got one tucked behind that framed Roger Moore James Bond poster down in the basement where you spend most of your time on that hand-me-down couch from your successful yoga instructor brother, Darren. There, you do nothing but overdose on 1980s action movie marathons. You don't trust Netflix because you gotta maintain operational security, so you only ever see the versions with the curse words dubbed over, and to this day, thing John McClane actually says, yippee Kaye mustard lover. You do have a hard time remembering the safe's combination, so you just write it on a post-it note and keep it next to the wall that says 69420. 
When the boredom sets in on a Friday night, you take pictures of your firearm on an unmade bed and submit them to your favorite subreddit, stubbornly unwilling to crop your feet out of the frame. This, ironically, has made your post go viral on some very strange Japanese photo sharing websites. Now, you might think you're 007 here, bud, but in reality, when your mom sees how you tore up her wall to install your safe, you're just gonna be double O grounded. All right, folks, let's dive into the world of Mr. I have an entire room. Room for my guns guy. Huh, wonder what this is gonna be about. Hey, gun room guy, is that room just a massive metaphor for what you're lacking elsewhere? Maybe shooting skills, perhaps? Yep, that's what I thought. Thanks, writers. This is almost laughable how pristine each one of your firearms looks. Not a hint of carbon, not a single scratch. I mean, what are they, your retirement plan? Or are you actually more interested in just looking at them than actually using them. Oh, and the grand tours that you give. Friends come over and they can't help but gawk at your perfectly displayed guns on that lockdown gun system's wall. But for some odd reason, when their eyes land on that black leather couch in the corner over there and conveniently placed video camera, they suddenly remember why they had other plans. Can't imagine why, folks. Can't imagine why. It's so big. <laughs> Welcome to the elite world of vehicular security with the car safe guy. Nestled deep within a chaotic blend of fossilized fries, the remnants of a thousand Arby's adventures, and a random sock that's become a napkin. Your car's interior, it's screaming for an intervention, like it's ready for a starring role in Hoarder's Mobile Edition. And let's not kid ourselves here, your life's trajectory, well, it's not that far off from that cluttered mess. But amidst the chaos, there is a glimmer of hope. Your prized firearm safeguarded, or so you think, in its car safe. Getting it in and out of the safe requires some minor excavation by relocating all those ironically forgotten Backstreet Boys CDs. So while your life might be a few fries short of a Happy Meal and your car's interior mirrors a post-apocalyptic wasteland, take solace in the fact that somewhere in that vehicular abyss, your gun is safe and sound. Prob probably, if you can find it, that is. Here we have the decorative gun cabinet guy. Let me guess, your idea of high fashion is a fishing vest in tuxedo black. You've probably had many heated debates about rapid fire at local ranges and have an RSO's phone number on speed dial. Your decorative gun cabinet isn't just a piece of furniture. It's the crown jewel of your living room, the shrine where you worship the gods of wood and varnish. The gleam from those wooden stocks is so intense, it's like staring into the sun. Now, God forbid any modern polymer or plastic even comes close to that sacred space. I'm pretty sure if a polymer stock rifle so much as casts a shadow on it, the whole thing would spontaneously combust and you'd be excommunicated from the church of traditional firearms. Oh, and let's not forget your lifetime subscription to American Rifleman would be revoked faster than you can say tactical reload. Right. Welcome to the no safe, just drawer guy. Let me guess, you fancy yourself a modern day Sun Tzu with your top tier strategy of stashing your firearm in an Ikea drawer that jams more than a cheap 22. Genius move, Einstein. And let's talk about that brilliant camouflage technique, burying your firearm under a mountain of unwashed undies. Because nothing says impenetrable fortress like a pile of skid mark skivvies, but hey, if you ever need to defend yourself, just hope that intruder waits patiently while you dive elbow deep into a biohazard zone that make a crime scene cleanup technician gag. Honestly, you're probably the same guy who sniffs month old milk and thinks, eh, still good. 